What's going on, hybrid shooters? It's Jason Vong, and today I'm gonna to show you how to turn your DSLR or mirrorless camera into a webcam. Now, why would you wanna do something like this? Perhaps you have a crappy webcam and you're a stickler for video quality, or perhaps you're a trialing photographer or videographer who likes to Skype in with their family from time to time and you don't want them to see you as a potato mush on their screen, or maybe you're like me who runs a live cam show every Monday night. Oh no, no, not those kind of live show, no. A live show where I talk about cameras and tech every Monday night, 7 p.m. PST with my good friend, that one camera guy. It's just, it's just a little hot in here, running too many lights. Woo! All right, so here's what you will need. Your DSLR or mirrorless camera with a clean HDMI out. Clean HDMI out just means it will not display any of your camera settings when you're streaming. Actually, Elgato has a really good compatibility list on their website telling you which DSLR or mirrorless camera have a clean HDMI out and which one are more ideal for long form streaming. Now, speaking of Elgato, the next thing you will need is a capture card, which they sell. It's this USB device that allows you to hook up your camera via an HDMI cable, so it will stream the feed from your camera to your computer. This is both Mac and Windows compatible. Personally, I'm using the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. This is Mac exclusive, I believe, and will require me to run a Thunderbolt 2 connection as well. Next up, you will need an HDMI cable to connect between the camera and the capture card. Now, depending on which camera you have, you may need the other end to be either a full size, a mini, or a micro HDMI. Now, in case you want to step up your audio game as well, here's a couple of mic recommendations I can give. Right now, I'm using the Rode NT-USB microphone. It's fantastic. It's awesome. It's what you're hearing right now. This is going to run you about $200, but it does come with a boom arm though, so that's pretty nice. Or you can get the YouTube fan favorite, the Yeti Snowball, which will run you about $50, giving you some crispy, clear audio as well. By the way, the Elgato Cam Link and the Blackmagic Mini Recorder, along with all the necessary cables and the mics, are linked in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. Oh, and how silly of me, of course, you'll also need a computer, PC, or whatever it is you have that has a USB connection, or in my case, a Thunderbolt connection. Alright, let's go ahead and get you set up. Go ahead and download all of the necessary softwares and drivers for your capture card. I will have a link to the Elgato software and driver and the Blackmagic driveware and software and whatever in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Now go ahead and hook up all of your devices to your computer and open up the software. If there is no feed, there could be only a couple of reasons why. Make sure your camera outputs matches the same settings dictated by the software. If it's asking for 1080p 29.97 frame rate, make sure your camera is on that. Next, you may want to start tinkering with the HDMI settings in your camera, especially if the feed is also showing your camera settings. Make sure you go to HDMI display info and turn that off. Now go ahead and open up Skype or YouTube or Google Hangout or Facebook and make sure you select your camera to be your main visual feed and obviously your mic as your main audio feed. And that's pretty much it. It is that straightforward. You can also take this up to a whole nother level by getting yourself two capture cards for two different cameras for multi-angle camera action and you can switch between both cameras with this free software called OBS. Now in order for OBS to work on Facebook and YouTube, you're going to need to copy the stream link from YouTube or Facebook and paste it onto your OBS software as shown here on the screen. Oh, and there was this one time where we put our camera on a slider, so it created this little parallax as it's sliding back and forth while we were doing a live show out in Vegas. It honestly looked pretty cool. It felt like this news casting thing going on. Anyways, guys, the possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like. Leave in the comments down below what you'll be using this live streaming method for, for your cooking show, for your podcast, whatever it is. Leave in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.